skid protection there on your wingtips, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> no, no fun with those things. <laughs> no training wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I fly the Cody since uh, they updated it, so. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it's good. All right, so there's another one, that, another update coming at the end of the month. Yeah, I read that. Um, so. And maybe we'll get the Flodiac, maybe. Maybe, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Ready to go? I'm ready. All set. Roll out. Boils. <laughs> All right. Brakes off. Here we go. Park and break off. Flap set to take off. Note to self. It's so very loud, so I switched to. Uh, Who needs your own way? Now, and now I'm, at, and now I'm on the, gra the gravel, and I wonder why it, it doesn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no growth. Yeah. No yep. 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 Nothing. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 This uh, kids' fogs also very quiet. I love the kids' fogs. I was really wondering, should I take Blame. the kids' fogs on the level today? The I'm always on the fence. Yeah, uh, try the kids' fogs again. It's... Much kids fogs, uh, <laughs> so I thought, okay, gravel just to, to for a change. I love the uh, transparent doors. You just see the wheels so nicely. See them respond to the terrain and all. It's a great VR. I think it's just an amazing uh, sightseeing plane because you can switch Absolutely. to autopilot. Uh, you have the glass cockpit if you want to. Uh, yeah. You hit the level button when you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So if you just want, just want to go somewhere and just have a look or something, it's it's great. It's great. Yep. Although I do miss the steam cages of the gravel. It is impossible to reach any engine instrumentation in this thing. In VR especially. But um, that doesn't matter much. Just punch you to fly and enjoy. Simple enough. Yeah. The view is unbeatable. Yeah. It's, it's very good. My favorite thing about it. Turn Taws off again. There we go. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk. You're a bush plane. <laughs> yeah. I don't need that. I know it is 500. <laughs> yeah. I just edited the sound file. I was just. Yeah. To get the button. Like, the button. Guys, it's ah. supposed to be 500 or less. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I sell, sell them flying higher in these things. 500. You're too high. Too high, exactly. This yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Too high. Get that Too high. there. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, I, I kicked the nos in on the gravel and it set my my head back into my seat here. My gosh. <laughs> nice work, Ray. Wow. That's got some nice punch, Ray. Yeah. Enjoy it. It's chill. You really go up very well, like that. So about that, at stage three for the hit fox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They haven't asked me yet. I think we stopped at stage four, stage two. <laughs> and 
they're like, enough of this nonsense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it wasn't to hit the numbers. The top speed had to be 142, etc. Yeah. Climbing speed 4200. They're doing 42 or 24, so. Like, we've already given you fun. too much power. <laughs> exactly. It's way unrealistic for this bird, actually. The drag profile is too high. <laughs> it's got the, uh, the enormous drag wall. Kids, Fox. Yeah. Okay. This is a straight in from the waypoint into yeah. the. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. Cool. To the valley. Okay. Copy then already there. <laughs> ben likes his Kodiak. Huh, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. By the way, I can recommend this Chesna uh, 3100 or 3110. It's quite nice. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people just raving about that. It looks really nice. I'm not in the market for a GA twin, but it looks like they've got a lot of nice features but, in there. Uh, I think it's a little bit hyped because uh, it's, it's a very nice plane. It's, it's really fun to fly. I bought it, I haven't had a chance to fly it yet. Uh, shh, shh. So it's, I think it's a nice it's plain. I, I don't think it's ground breaking like my people make it sound. Uh, I haven't tried this uh, individual, individualization yet, so maybe I probably change my mind one way or the other. But it's, it's a nice uh, twin app. Uh, twin no, app. I, don't, I don't know that. I think it's just that there's a lot of features that uh, it has finally added that people have been asking for that are present in other stems, you know, that haven't really made their way over to flights them yet and now they're finally starting to filter in and I think that's why people are really uh, excited about it so alright yeah they really need oof boy what's strange is if you fly a uh, push plane and then switch to that Chesna and have to get used to land 100 knots or something that's yeah. really strange. That in. Nope, nope, nope. You were going to climb this hill. Uh, those <laughs> Cody's are noisy. <laughs> yeah. Disturb us of the peace. <laughs> I'm like I'm on the flat ground. And I look at I look at my uh, HSI and it's like ten degrees up. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's a little bit of an uphill climb. <laughs> you expect things to be flat here in PNG, really? Yeah. <laughs> you don't like uphill. Well, it's just it's deceptively <laughs> uphill, like the way that this is. I'm just like, wow, I'm really nose up here. <laughs> there we go. It's like, why is it taking, like, all my power to get up this hill? <laughs> there we go. Better. They just get shorter and steeper from like, here on out. Yeah. That's all right. Nice. It's like, like landing it. with your gear up, you know, it takes full power to catch you to the ramp. Uh, we won't mention that I wasn't in high idle condition. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Small detail. It's like Dark's going through the same thing I was. <laughs> you need a little bit of differential braking and a lot of throttle to get up that. Get up that to go yeah, away. same here. Yeah. I have rudder authority. I don't have differential braking. I don't <laughs> think that's uh, a brake. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I could have brakes, but then my right brake would stick half the time. I was getting kind of annoying at work on Wednesdays. Then the sail on those uh, Thrustmaster pedals went, so now they're back to 100.
Yeah, on the Grand Rex one. <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm going! for the, the entire trip but I added a bit more just for contingency for landing and taking off a lot so yeah, I started at 80 percent so oh yeah you're real heavy <laughs> that's pretty heavy yep all right uh, roll out I, uh, I have 100 percent as well I don't worry <laughs> yeah if I was flying the graveler to Kit Fox I wouldn't worry about it Cody gets pretty Pretty squirrely if you're trying to land places like this with full tanks. <laughs> and down Dian goes. I saw a river. Uh huh. <laughs> you're gonna have to disable the uh, whatever the heck it is, the bank limiter on the that's coming with the update. <laughs> oh, I the yeah, safety I, features. <laughs> yeah, I, I read all that, and I'm like, yeah, but I want to over rev the engine. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's the point. <laughs> like, well, what fun is that? Yeah, I did. I, I think he did say there was going to be a, like a EFB coming. So you can yeah. re reset it in, in flight rather than having to come out and fly and come back in. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely supposed to have a EFB coming at some point. I just joined up with you guys right behind you. We're good. Yeah, yeah, welcome. How you doing? <laughs> We've left the reality of the world behind and we're back into the uh, preferred reality of Saturday morning. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good to me. The one that counts. One that counts, right. The weather's nicer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the mains. Right. Yeah. I could really use a fuel dump right now. <laughs> Should have donated some to the locals at that last strip, dude. <laughs> I'll get it on the next one. Oh, trees. Hi. <laughs> stall. Stall. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I gotta find some headphones so you guys don't hear every voice that comes through my head. <laughs> Ah, leave it, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Here. I could just leave you guys with the stall warning test. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just teasing us, man. <laughs> well, I'm pretty far back here, but I'm pretty heavily loaded. Yeah, you should be should be okay with about thirty percent at the night. Let's see what I've got here. What I'm running. <sighs> I'm at twenty eight percent currently, so well, next time I'll drop it at least to fifty and see what that does. Because I don't drop it thirty percent. 
I, uh, I mean, I, I don't know what the, if there's been any changes with the, with my economy based on the drag figures that got changed in the season update nine, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm not gonna recalibrate my whole little nav map fuel yeah. profile until they get the prop physics dialed back in on the Kodiak, so. Yeah. Like we got a ugly sister up ahead of us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's C two oh eight. Yeah, we were there's a <laughs> guy over in the Bush League that he's been trying to catch up with the group, so he just started the round the world and uh he's been trying out different planes. I guess he just kinda got into flight sim. And uh we recommended the Kodiak to him. He's like, but it's a 208. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> no, no. No, no. no. <laughs> it's like, no, it's not. <laughs> Did you introduce him to the logical yet? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to go somewhere really fast and be able to land in bush strips, <laughs> because why not? <laughs> I'd be used that. How is it there? Yeah, I should have my should have my track IR on Tuesday. Let's see, unless they update it. Oh, nice, enjoy. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. You love it. Enjoy uh, trying I to block fly out the sun. Yep. Enjoy blocking out the sun in your room while you're using it. It's especially well, good to get a really big screen. So I've got the. A little uh, bit. I've got the the active tracker that sits on the side of the oh, your same. head. Oh uh, yeah, same. Yep. I had to, well, I couldn't get the official one, so I bought a, a grass monkey puck. So yeah, that would do. Yeah, it'd be fine. Uh, no problem. Enjoy it. I should probably slow down here. Grounding one sixty four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was just thinking the same. <laughs> Yeah, I just got the Kodiak the other day. I'm still getting used to her. <laughs> yeah, I, I just went to an external view and I just see Husky inverted doing a slow roll. I'm like, uh, yeah, he's got a new plane. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Wolf, you'll have your track IR and you'll be able to sit there and geek out in the cockpit of your 737. Yeah. Ooh, what does that switch do? I'm just up <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hoping that it's not an FPS <laughs> tank on VR. Yeah, I wouldn't even attempt to run it in VR. That would be not that I even have VR, but, but yeah, that was kind of like my situation. I was like, eh, I think I think getting a track IR would be the the way to go right now for my current situation. So I can't afford it, but I'm gonna get it. VR is so awesome. Not VR. Absolutely. The 737. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah. oh this one. Yeah. Because I miss uh, I miss my uh, Zebo from X Plane. Yeah. No, I wanna I want to get VR at some point, especially for like the little bush planes and stuff. I don't really care about it in an airliner because you're yep. up so high. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for like down low flying and stuff like that, just low and slow. I definitely want to get one. Yeah, it's even impossible to manage an airline and not in VR. You can't reach, reach the buttons, you can't touch them. Right. It's just too difficult, but it's great for the small ones, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. It'd be great for gravel, kit fox, things like that. Yeah, perfect. That's even the Kodiak, right. nice. Yeah, the Kodiak is nice in VR. Dude, the RV 14 yeah. is my favorite VR plane. The Optica is right behind it. Well, yeah, I mean, the Optica, you're just flying in a bubble, basically, so, I mean... Yeah. It's very nice in the Optica, VR. Yeah. Helicopters as well, by the way. Yeah. Would do well. 135, 145, uh, 
We need 500 to whatever. Oh, the choppers there are great. Is, there is no airplane that's not enhanced by VR. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the only problem in uh, in in the uh, 146. You can't touch the buttons. Yeah. There's something yeah. wrong with the collision box. You just cannot. The mouse is hovering like 20 centimeters away from it. So. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is in the RV14 as well. I was talking to Alex. Yeah. And I was like, hey, right, right. Don't want to look at the panel collision. He's like, yeah, we don't really understand how it works, but we think we got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Has anyone tried VR in a snackle wing? Because I imagine this is a cockpit where it doesn't really help because it's so clustered, uh, you don't see much anyway. Can't say. I haven't tried it. It's still on my list of planes to pick up. I have, I still haven't gotten it yet, so. It's not. Yeah, I've tried it. In the, I've got the stagger wing in VR, so. It's pretty doggone good, I thought. How do you like it? Yeah, I like it a lot. Okay, cool. Let me Just doing, uh, <laughs> doing a TNG here. Are we stopping? TNG is probably fine. TNG, yeah, I think this uh, one is. Uh, I want to see how many people can make this one. This one is short. This is probably the shortest one of the whole trip. It is well, not. I'm, uh, I'm in a kid's box. It's kind of cheating. It is not the shortest by a factor of like five or 600 feet. The last one is the shortest. The last one is the shortest at 900 feet. Yeah, right. Feet. Okay. Yeah. It's 500 feet traffic? shorter than this one, man. <laughs> I barely. It's going to be something to see. Barely got got the wheels on the ground on that one there. That's what I, I warned y'all about. Me too. <laughs> oh man, those those ones at the bottom of the valley when you're coming, or I think are a little bit harder sometimes than some of these other ones, these uphill strips, because unless you get a really good good go at it. Yeah, the okay. final strip is about 500 feet shorter yeah nice nice being a lawn dart is technically a landing though right right yep <laughs> that is correct i mean it is a little bit uphill so you do have that going for you but i just recommend getting into the valley soon and getting it low and slow as fast as you can <laughs> but that's kind of how I've set the waypoint up for that one, is why it's so long out. Oh, beep, beep. <clears throat> you guys haven't heard what the pricing will be for that PDMG. I guess so it's going to be anywhere from pro. Well, they said they, they say it was going to be cheaper than their previous offerings, but I'm still betting it's probably going to be. Eighty dollars at least. At yeah. least eighty. At least. Betting eighteen. Yeah. Ah, too fast. I'm at the Probably. trees. Hello, yeah. trees. Hello, trees. I love you, trees. <laughs> you don't Man. love my plane, though. But you get a lot of options. It's kind of yeah. ridiculous the amount of options that you get in that aircraft. So. And it's probably the only airline you ever need. If you don't right. have to offer yeah, six years. I'm not yep. like the only. I just want it for the BBJ mostly, <laughs> so mm -hmm. I probably oh, won't be them, buying yeah. the other ones. At least, I mean, yeah, I I really can't see myself buying the other ones. There's really for me, I'll stick to the one for six because it's just like the era better. It's just too much screen and programming, sure. which I'm doing all day long, so I don't want to fly 77. But it's a great airplane, no doubt. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, and the 737 is only a twin, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What does people... Business, Boeing business jet. It's like a private... It's like a private... plane. Yeah. If you're, and that a, one, if you're a rich Somalian prince, you can have a... <laughs> right. It's like a... Um, it's like your private jet. You see, like, Trump, like Trump's plane. Yeah. Um... So I'm looking forward to that because they fly the 700 up here in uh, in Alaska, both cargo and passengers. So flying approaches in real weather up here is going to be a hoot in that 73. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's going to be cool. Yep.
Will's been, Will has been getting me back and flying the CJ4 with the marking title mod, and I kind of like it. It's kind of fun to grease a landing in the CJ4. It's a nice aircraft. Yeah, it's a little rocket ship. <laughs> now. I tried the it's longitude like, yesterday, and I was like, holy moly, that weight. There, <laughs> it's just a TV in there. It's just, yeah. I don't know how to use this. Did you find that performance mod that I was told you I about? Did. I tried loading in. My friend had me... He was like, let's fly from Zurich to, I don't know, somewhere. And I loaded in, and I my computer just could not handle Zurich. Mm. And I was like, what the heck? Yeah, I think Zurich's usually pretty busy, too. Yeah, I usually... Maybe, like, try flying out of, like, Aspen or Telluride with... Yeah. With a low population, like, mountain. I flew out of Telluride with the DC-6. Yeah. That was a surprisingly easy spot to land and take off from. Yeah, I can't remember where it was now. It was on maybe seven continents, there's a dirt strip in a valley with a tight, really tight approach from both ends. I had to weep through the spurs. Uh, it was only 1900 feet I think, probably. And still managed to get the DC-6 in there. I was like, oh yeah. Very nice, very nice. Reached it. It, took me, yeah. it, took, it only took me about 17 attempts to get in. <laughs> going around. <laughs> going around. <laughs> and, and, the go, and the going around was risky as well because of the mountains all, all around. Right. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Such a long run in as well. And then got to La Plaza and it's all like, oh, wow, it's like a 57,000 feet runway. I was like, oh, yeah, I've got to have no problem here. I was like, oh right. my god. <laughs> only just got air. Speaking of mountains, this is nice scenery out here. It yeah, it looks good. Just climbing a bit to get a good view. It's nice. Winding rivers. Winding rivers, winding turbines. Mm -hmm. mm. We're with you guys in a second. I just had to uh, get that last land and sort it out. <laughs> Got there in the end. Yeah, she's a little slippery. Uh, sometimes getting it down to a flap speed. I think they still got to work on uh, a little bit of drag on the fuselage because it doesn't it doesn't forge slip the way you would think it would. There's just uh, doesn't. So, so. Certainly, <clears throat> certainly doesn't lead off the speed you would expect. Right, it's better than it was, but it's. It, I, I think it still needs work. Yeah, it's nice to fly though. It's lively. Yeah. Got to make sure you give yourself time to get the turbine spooled back up on those short runways. <laughs> you have to kind of stay ahead of it. Yeah. Yeah, if you're going around, commit to going around before you touch down. Right. Yeah, once your wheels are down, you're like, well... <laughs> That's what happened to me on the last touchdown too far into the runway. Uh, tried to stop and said, well, I'm not taking off, so right. yep. committed to the trees. Anticipate as much as possible. Plan, plan, plan. Yeah, I only used the second stage flaps the first two, two attempts. Got it down all right, but just didn't get it stopped short enough. But full flaps for the last one, and just made it. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to take my word for it. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one you was were, there to see it, right? So you were on your essentially. <laughs> hey, if we didn't see it, it didn't happen. That's right. Did it count? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Yeah, it's like cheating. You only cheat yourself. <laughs> Flap three, full reverse. That's what you want. Right. Yeah, it's getting the the reverse thrust quick enough. Mm -hmm. I've got a button on my pinky switch, but it's uh, it's quite stiff to press. You know, I, t I tend for short runways. I tend to do it, you know, two three hundred feet out, just so it's uh, at power as you're touching. And uh, yeah, that seems to work. So I sometimes do it a bit early, and you sink rate and stall horn a go, and you're like, "Well, I've still got a thousand feet to go." Sense a uh, market for rocket-assisted braking. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Yeah. For, like that C130. Yeah, but they maybe the other way around. <laughs> yeah, that C130. Well, no, they. When was that? That was. I think it was one that like the the US like the CIA came up with for like a. Correct. Uh, so they were trying to. Landed in a, in a, yep. for like a hostage rescue down in South Correct. America. They were going to land Plus, it in like a soccer stadium or something like that, you know. So yeah. it had to like come in, f rocket fired braking to basically stop mm -hmm. on a dime and then take back off with rockets. It's crazy, right? For a one off mission, they did that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what helicopters are for. <laughs> right. yeah. yeah. It's like, mm. oh, I'm hey, uh, yeah. You should go. I just want a couple of boat anchors and a bit of bungee cord. I'll slow you down. Right. <laughs> Damn cheaper as well. Sling you back to the anchors. Where <laughs> the anchors break loose and come flying through the back of the aircraft. Yeah, That's what right. could possibly go wrong, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where's you guys' the sense of adventure? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> That'd be the two guys that decided to try and switch planes in the air. So they're yeah, yeah. They're sitting around a bar. They must have figured, hey, I know what. Let's let's do this. It's like, oh my gosh. And they didn't lose but one plane. Yeah. That's so stupid. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Skydiving isn't dangerous. Let's make it more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <let's... laughs> I wonder how long they will have to license still. Yeah, no, the uh, FAA isn't too happy with them. No, I can't imagine. Push. But did they have a fire extinguisher with them? Great, that's that's, that's the important <laughs> bit right there. <laughs> yeah. Got to think health and safety. <laughs> your fire extinguisher wasn't properly secured to your leg, we're going to have to ground you. <laughs> so what's your facial expression when you got in front of the airplane and the props coming at you? Gee, what kind of view is this? <laughs> I don't remember seeing. Did Red Bull have a? Uh, did they have the signature on the tail for that? I, uh, I think so. The what signature? The Red Bull was <clears throat> Red Bull sponsored that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was their stunt. They sponsored so it. I, you know it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Well, they've got to dream up some crazy stuff now. And they're, they're, now they're not doing the air racing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah. bummer. I got to see that once in Detroit. That was pretty dope. Just the reaction speed of those guys is nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, Kirby Chandler's kept winning all of them for the most part. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> it's like, Kirby needs to retire or something needs to change. Just saying, it wasn't he in his hundreds already? Yeah, right. Where are you going, Wolf? I'm just kind of yeah. taking a longer approach in. See. I just zoomed out here. To... Just figured I'd swing wide and come in. So yeah, that's that's the plane that didn't quite make it, AK. Wow. I'm surprised it's not a burning wreck. It looks like just an accordion on the I mean, floor. It kinda had a parachute. Parachute also opened at three hundred feet, so 
<laughs> like one of those cartoons where they hit the ground and then the parachute deploys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I used to, I used to love uh, Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Really, really is. Uh, uh, someone mm -hmm. had post someone had posted a picture a, a, a while back of a large boulder on a mountain road. And, uh, <laughs> someone had written underneath it like hundred bucks says there's a coyote under here. Yeah. <laughs> and it's what was it the acne that was always yeah, the company acne, was yeah. it yeah yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It was always on the weights yes <laughs> acne brand dynamite and rock <laughs> <laughs> <Meep, meep. laughs> Need to have a visible NOS tank and the gravel and have an Acme logo on on it. Oh, that would be lovely. <laughs> oh, maybe maybe one day. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I don't put the trust us on that Bobby Reddit. Right. Bobby Reddit, right? See if you can get somebody got friends guys so crazy to do some uh, pretty sub modeling. Right. Including a cup holder, of course. Yeah, what the heck, we, man. We need that, I know, we need that cup holder, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the horn button. Is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Is the and sub button? Meep, meep. <laughs> 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 meep, meep. <laughs> I want the button. <laughs> Primary reason for me getting the Kodiak. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's got two. <laughs> I think there's more than that. I think if you go through the back cabin, there's there's like eight or nine. <laughs> for every seat, there's a. There's oh a Jesus! I never noticed those. <laughs> yeah. You can even move around the uh, the little the little air conditioning nozzles on the dash. You can move those around if you grab them. It's <laughs> a lot of little cool. Just. Oh Jesus! Where? Is... Way way too high for this. Shit. Throwing the flaps out. Is this running? You extended your cameras and you're still too high. I, I thought I had a little bit further to go. I was wrong. Oh, there That's all right. We're, right we're doing there. okay. We'll get it. There's 108. Flaps 3. Idle. Yeah, we're, we're okay. We're okay. RT at the ready. How far are you guys out? Uh, I am... Pretty short final. One mile. One mile. <laughs> right, cool. I'm seven out. <laughs> Slew mold. That's all right. So I'll adjust into this drag on this Kodiak, so I gotta stay on the throttle a little bit more. Is that uphill? I can't quite tell. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit uphill. It's also not a crash and go. Yeah, definitely not. Nope. Yeah, you could do a go around, maybe not. I mean, I could. I can't box and gravel, but the Kodiak I struggled with on most of these for touch and goes. I did test it. And I think yeah. that, that previous one's the only one you can really, truly do a touch and go. And the final one, you have to stop. There is a wall at the end. So you stop or you will be stopped? Yeah. Basically. One way or another, you will stop. Success guaranteed. That's nice. <laughs> Sur survival is not. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, was... Thanks for the follow, Pedikin. Welcome to the stream. Oh, stop there. Just flying in Papua New Guinea. There's so many name tags that don't seem to work right. <laughs> Just close your eyes and pray. <laughs> the Lord is my Use shepherd. The I want nothing more. 
<laughs> the Lord is my wingman. <laughs> oh. Jesus, take the yoke. Jesus, this is my <laughs> co-pilot. <laughs> Get down. It's those goldies are noisy. <laughs> this tree is really unfortunate here. Yeah, you really need <laughs> the, the the New Zealand tree height mod if you're not running it. Yeah, I should have put that in the recommended. I removed it because it made the trees in Alaska look like small bushes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and I, was, I was like, uh, this is not right. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Gotta hate it when you lose your lift. Do we need a SAR? Not yet. Send out the four wheelers. <laughs> How that works, I'm facing backwards now. throttle up the hill husky <laughs> yep Greg I need some differential braking too because she's gonna pull the left on you yeah you get so panicked about not stopping in time that you stop a third of the way up most of these you can roll out pretty far yeah, I didn't even bother going into reverse thrust of this one. It's like, yeah, there's plenty of room to roll out on this one. So, yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's go. behind you dragon nice view It's got to be pretty hot in my cabin. I don't have my AC on. <laughs> yeah. Outside air temp is 70, so they're, yeah. they're need okay. All the, need all the air at, or up. I could Rust open my door, but it gets blown away, so there's a bit of a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a, kind <laughs> of a permanent true. solution. <laughs> what? Nice effect, you guys, though. You guys don't fly naked? What's wrong with you? <laughs> We're not all like you. <laughs> I popped both doors off one day and just flew with the doors off. It was kind it's of nice fun. and noisy, right? Yeah, it's kind of fun. I accidentally jettisoned the canopy in the RV-14 one time. <laughs> P38 for me. <laughs> almost. Yeah, I do it almost shaky. every time. It's a bit shaky now these days. <laughs> yeah. I did that on a pretty early on on accident in a with a misclick in the P-38 and I had like a three hour flight and I'm like oh man I'm like damn it seriously I would have turned around <laughs> I'm like, damn it shake like crazy for three hours <laughs> you're never gonna do it again though no <laughs> edit the checklist do not touch in flight mm -hmm. yeah right no 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 indeed Back to 
thousand here. Two thousand? Are oh, you flying? What do you High five. <laughs> oh, the dilemma though. I've got a detent on my Hotas and it pulls it back to 20, 30 RPM. And I'm like, ah, oh. it's like when you're filling up with gas, you're trying to go for a round number. You're not sure you <laughs> want a round number in litres or a round number in cost. Right, yeah. <laughs> It's almost to the point now where the bank is next to the gas station, so you can take out a loan before you fill up oh, your car. Yeah, right. Come on, come on, bloody North Americans. <laughs> yeah, we have no. We oh honestly have God, no reason to complain. Oh, it's like a dollar for like 15 yeah, yeah, gallons exactly. now. Jesus. That's <laughs> um, <it's> four dollars. <laughs> four, four dollars a gallon. Yes. Jesus. It's We're so cheap. Paying Unbelievable. We're paying a pound, about a, a, a pound sixty a liter now. Jeez. Three dollars a liter. Yeah. Even higher. Wow. In Germany, we are at a little more than two euros per, per liter. Yeah, it's about the same here then. Yeah. One twenty and dive. <laughs> you guys don't want to have to feed my truck. Yeah, but I look at it this way. Uh, a good gin is still twenty pound a litre, so you know. Yep. <laughs> when they become equivalent, I'm going to start drinking unleaded <laughs> fuel. <laughs> it does. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Premium or super? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely the super. Higher octane, right? Yep. St stops the detonation. Exactly. Keeps your knees from knocking. <laughs> Airfield insight. That's a nice hilly slope. Seems like this one is slanted the two directions, laterally as well. Yeah, fun. Fun. Yeah. yeah, it should be interesting. At some point, we should really answer the question: Are we magicists? Yeah. <laughs> I th thought that was established back in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> also, yes. <laughs> Holy crap, Dion. What? I just thought you almost lawn dart. <laughs> this is a possible TNG if you really, really want to. No, it's kind of tactical approach. That's what that was. Let's see how it goes here in this. I didn't use... I think I'm going to need to throttle up a little bit here. Like 75 over the trees. I <laughs> did not need reverse. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go to the top and turn around and take off again. Oh boy. Nope. Need more throttle. She's falling. Woo. And. Uh... <laughs> Dn's like, I'm going <laughs> downhill. <laughs> yeah, Roy. Yeah. Touch down. Wrong way, Corrigan. Touch down on my wings. <laughs> I didn't hit your wings. I don't. What do you think? Oh, it's not too bad. I'm sorry. Right. I think uh, I saw a little in here. I'm going to check in, guys. I'll see you next week. Okay. Yeah, right. Time. Right. Right. time for me to Take care, Ryan. Take care, Ryan. Right. It's fun. Take care, guys. Isn't Enjoy the rest of the trip. Coffee or uh, is it next month? Yeah. AK's bugging out too. I got a big laundry list to do. It's great flying with you guys this morning. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Take care, man. See ya. Uh, looks like we've got hey, another there, one okay. pretty close by. We can. With yeah. Comeco Airport is technically the middle. Is that the next one? No, it's not. It's. Uh, we got Tawa, Owabana, and then Comeco. But we can go wherever. They're all. Pretty close. I guess, guess it's up to everybody else. We could either make the next airfield and break, or we could break right here, probably. It's almost top of the hour. Yeah, it's 10 minutes too. Yep. If you guys want to take a break, we can. We're Matter not halfway Call. through, but. Call. That's it. Uh, let's, let's get to the next one, then we can break. Okay. Okay. 
it's pretty close by, so. Yeah. And they're all yeah, they're pretty close from here, I know. Go for it. that it's a lot that it's like I don't even know how many pounds lighter a lot lighter yeah up with fuel illegally no you just donated it to the local indigenous population it's fine no I dumped it in midair I've got custom valves in this thing <laughs> is, that, is that why that hillside behind us is on fire yeah right yes <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, it just evaporates, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, mostly. <laughs> mostly. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Over torque. That's the spicy light. Mostly, I do appreciate the uh, the waypoints that uh, lead into the uh, lead yeah. into the into the approach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that takes how, a how, lot how, of guesswork out of it. How, how much do you trust dragons to put them there yeah. consistently, correctly? Right. <laughs> I'll try and do it as long as there's not a TNG possibility. Oh, look at the waypoint. Oh, it's in a cliff. Ah! <laughs> As Dragons paints another four aircraft on the side of his. Right. <laughs> <laughs> another one fight to the death. Yep. Now. It was a bit of a bit of a stretch there on that one. Throw the flaps out. I've been into this one. Interesting.
lost my land. I need a chiropractor. Alright. Ah! What is it, Alice? Watch out for that are, building. And buildings are immovable. This must be one of Cal's. Mm, nope. Not yet. His are like the last four, I think. Four or five. Yeah. How dare you? I'll play me. me. <laughs> Here, I'll be nice. I'll turn off my wig. There, now I get just full bright. There it is, yeah. <laughs> I can't see shit. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Let me shut them off for you. Ah, uh, yeah. You get much glare with my taxi lights or just the landing lights? It's the landing lights. Alright, are we doing 10 minutes here? Yep. Okay. Eight after. Awesome. Just get some more practice in. The more you fly it, uh, the more you'll work.
Uh oh, weather. I'm under phones here, Derek.
Alright, y'all, I've got eight after. Yep. Alright. Let's hit it. See ya. Roll one. Send it. Well, alrighty then. Are we going into HWA? Uh, Is that a or I just I just can't really tell from the flight. Plan yes, we are. Into. Okay, copy. So we gotta swing back in. Gotcha. Yep. Nice. You've named the waypoints, the actual runway you're gonna intersect yep. as well. Yep. Very very nice. There's a few that I named BSLG for base leg as well. Because. Fancy. Because I'm yeah. special. Making it special for you guys. Should <laughs> good to us. Yeah, I had to sack Otto, the autopilot avatar, because his head sticks out the top of the discus. And it's a bit <laughs> fun. <laughs> That's not good for, uh, for your aerodynamics. No, yeah. and, and his feet stuck out the bottom of the discus as well. So. Oh, man. So I stuck a knife in him, he's deflated, he's in the back. Oh, man. Poor Otto. Yeah, shit autopilot anyway. <laughs> This one's a little different. So don't have eyes on it. Yeah, you're kind of coming back on yourself. It's on the valley wall the other side. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah I figured I'd have to run out here a little bit and then swing back in, so... Oh, this is tight. This is tight, tight. This is tight, tight, and I'm committed. <laughs> uh, 
I don't even see anybody. Where the heck? Oh, okay. I got it now. Visual. Actually, bring up the flaps a little bit. Yeah, I was probably carrying about 70 knots too much airspeed coming in there. Oh! Fucking. I'll sit down, Cody, on the runway. Womp womp. Uh oh. I'm really interested to see how this uh, final airstrip goes for everyone. <laughs> In a sadistic sort of way, I think. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to get ahead and get a drone camera set up? Uh, that. That, was, that was a really bad bounce. <sighs> Dentist is rubbing his hands together. I'll just skip the final airport and wait for you at the... or skip the second to final. There you go. Wait for you at the final airport. Are you gonna film everybody, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Dirty safe. Oh, man down. You okay there, Rexlo? Oh well. I didn't know this plane came with hydraulics, like <laughs> car bounce hydraulics. Because <clears throat> I bounce Rexo. so hard. Here we go. Uh, upload it to YouTube, we'll get an odd, get an Iceland to my soul, forbidding us to ever touch this software again. Right. Look at this reprobate out here in his uh, gravel doing donuts. <laughs> and it's not on purpose. Oh dear. <laughs> I have a problem steering with the rudder on the ground. Yeah, getting up these hills are can be kind of rough. Especially when they're almost ten degrees up. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go through the train. Re reverse thrust. <laughs> Real fast. Basically, I almost flipped my Cody over. I did flip mine over. I know, I saw. I was on final. <laughs> 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 oh no, I, I saw that. <laughs> Take a picture, I don't have proof, so it didn't happen. Oh shit, no, it didn't happen then. <laughs> Too late, you've already admitted it. Everybody Too easy on the brakes when rolling backwards. <laughs> no, right. for sure, yeah. yeah In true. fact, don't even touch them. Yeah, so, I learned when I'm uh, using reverse thrust to back up just to... <laughs> to go to idle or give it a little bit of power. <laughs> yep. We're slowing down. I've definitely done a tail stand or two. I don't need to push back tug. What are you talking about? I got reverse thrust. Donk. Yep. Who do you think you are? I am in the car. Great. Yeah, it'd be a considerably different flight if our damage was set on. <laughs> yeah. A very short flight. Yeah, it needs to be a solo trip. Yeah, mine would have been the first airport. Gone. Yeah, I think mine have been the uh, departure airport. <laughs> <laughs> Second landing was a little bit harsh. Yeah, I reckon they should do it. That every time you have a hard landing, 
well, as defined by the aircraft, is things like your altitude knob should fall off the autopilot and things like that, and slowly but surely all the switches and knobs just fall out. Yeah, there all, you go. All, all going up, yeah. Nothing works anymore. Slip. It's a nice, nice, short, long one. So I took one of the screenshots that I posted. The mountains off in the distance. is out here it's like every bare strip of land looks like it might be a land you know a runway <laughs> yeah, yeah. so you get fooled pretty quick well you could probably land on a most bare piece yeah, of land some of them here. yeah uh, and the gravel yeah and the gravel you definitely could I'm still trying to is it that dirt that like yeah grass yeah is on, <laughs> on approach I think <laughs> yeah I landed on it anyway. Is it that strip of dirt? Yes. <laughs> Is it all the strips of dirt? All the yes. strips of dirt. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's actually kind of... I, it's not where I thought it was. I thought this hill to the left of the runway was... And that came around. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, flap three. Good. Yeah, you don't want to overshoot, there's a drop-off behind me. <laughs> oh, I might actually have to use reverse thrust on this one, then. That's a better landing. Watch, uh, watch coming in. You don't want to go short, because you're going to nail the hill, the threshold. Oh, kind of like I buy. There's a drop off over here. What? Expo's coming in hot. I love the smiley face on the front of the NX. <laughs> I don't know if that was a save. It looked like you broke a few props. And his ass. Yeah. Don't you have a butt kicker? Yes. Yeah, I got that feel. <laughs> yeah, Rocket won't be able to uh, walk for a week now. Wow. 
couple fellas. Did you guys get a private group together? Is that why I can't find you? <laughs> We're on the West server. Oh, okay, I'm on the West. Uh, Maybe the invisibility clubs. Man, oh, nice. Oh, Romulans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, These things aren't called Walbrooks for nothing. Right. Um, make sure you've got uh, visibility set to all players instead of live players for multiplayer. Uh, it's kind of been there since I first installed the sim, so it shouldn't hmm. be there yet. That's weird. Yeah, we're just we just left Alpha Yankee, Oscar Kilo. Sometimes there's usually have to kind of spawn in sometimes to swap servers back and forth a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's one of oh. those things that just makes me very proud of the sim. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely annoying sometimes for sure. Uh, uh, we are inbound to Alpha Delta Key or. Charlie is the next waypoint, it looks like. The DM is going to make an attempt at a Alpha Yankee Lima Delta, it looks like. Who was it that couldn't no. see us? Oh, Papa Mish. Or I guess I'm, I'm some guy in Colorado if I'm, uh, if you see me in the sim. Uh, well. Never did fix that. I have yeah, I see some guy. Yeah, I see him. A5. Maybe you couldn't see us because we were all on the ground at the time. I see you in the sim. Cool. Alright. No, okay. I wasn't going over to uh, Lima Delta. I was having uh, airspeed issues. She was. Ah. Like I was at full flat and low idle. <laughs> I've done it before and I'll do it again. Uh, this is where I have to bid you guys uh, good day. Oh, really you leave it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're leaving again, are you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to go get ready for work. Don't you threaten us with a good time. <laughs> I used to have one of those pesky day jobs. <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> what, what is this Daddy. work of which you speak? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, or... it's where you get free money. You just ah. show up and follow a few simple instructions. They give you money. The money just rolls in. Wait, I thought that wait. was what we're tired was, except we didn't have to follow any instructions. <laughs> you, no, no, I'm still married. <laughs> you, you, still have to, you still have to follow instructions, Rex, but come on. Oh, uh, well, that's true. I forgot about she who must be obeyed. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. How could Never you? Forget. Don't well, tell I'll her. See, I'll see you guys next week. All right, take it easy, man. Have a good one. All right, see you later. later. See you. Yeah. The only other problem I've had is every time I've tried to restart these flights, like where I save them, uh, it always puts me back at the start airport. Yeah, that's yeah, weird. Yeah, I never figured out how this safe flight feature works because for me, I always end up where I started. Just yeah. the same. And you can uh, always teleport over there. Yeah. Get the Y okay. button and then go forward. Yep. Kind of not the point to save something, is it? Yeah, I don't bother saving. All, all I usually do is just delete the waypoints that I've already flown and then start it as a new flight and it seems, seems to oh. just work better than a save flight. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks I've for the I've never got a save flight to work. And also means you can't change the weather as well. 
Right. Yeah, you bypass all those other limitations, which... Has anybody figured out why they exist? Uh, a sober? A sober. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> Microsoft. Five little letters uh, is the answer to all these uh, nagging questions. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. If in doubt, it's a Sobo's fault. That's right. So I who's leading this flight? Care. You guys are like all over the place. I'm just kind of, but also yeah. we have a flight plan. Free spirits. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. We just kind of wander around, yeah. roughly following the uh, flight plan. Uh, that's the dragon is it, the yeah. leader, so in all cases, follow him if you lost. Well, oh, I'm never lost. But we all eventually crash at the same airstrips. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, that's that's teamwork right there. Yeah. Sign up, girl. One guy in Colorado. What kind of plane are you flying? Because I see a tag. It's like A5. Yep, I'm actually in a very, in a, imagine if Mike Patey got a hold of an A5 and said, you know what? <laughs> so. That, uh. Where can I, I get that plane? <laughs> that seems like a good idea. I saw. Yeah. I'm glad I beat that, you guys uh, to it. Yeah, it's in flightsim.to. Look for Chunky and Mish. That's it. Yep, I saw yep. you guys uh, advertise that the other day. Uh, I meant to pick that up. So if you've ever been in the A5 and think, man, this would be a great plane to go and explore in, but it just can't get out of its own way. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's uh, there's, there's quite a few hours just in the flight model, just because I didn't want it to be cartoonish. Nice. But, but how does it handle on water? Yeah. That's... <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's better because you don't have to spend so dang much time on the water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, it's still got the Rotax in it, so it sounds the same. But it's a two hundred or it's a what? Yeah, two hundred and twenty cubic inch uh, six cylinder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, no. But yeah, no. there's lots of tweaks. Took me took me about three weeks to build, and then nice. I'll give it a some nice liveries. Yeah, it's a. a Love some feedback. Chunky wants me to change the flight model, and I'm currently fighting with him, telling him I don't want to. So, <laughs> well, I'll have to try it out and throw my uh, old livery on there. Yeah, I think that was the first aircraft I flew when I got the sim. Uh, that and it, flew exactly. it around Venice, around Venice, around the canals and things, and then yep. the, and within ten minutes, I was like, God, this could do with some power. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I actually let it sit for a long time, and then I have been working on another custom um, power mod, too. And then in the middle of working on that, that's when Chunky said, you know what, what we really need is a float plane that can get out of its own way. And I said, well, then let's fix the icon, because that's a beautiful plane. I love the way, I love the visibility, I love the looks, I lo you know. But... So the only thing I haven't added to it yet was uh, reverse thrust, which would come in pretty handy on the water, but I'm... Does, but I added things like a spoiler. Does it have reverse thrust? Not in real like, life. No, no, really. no not yeah. in real life. But like I said, if Mike Petey got a hold of it... Uh, that's it would. True. Should we talk a turbine option for that plane then? <laughs> yeah. We're just going turbine. Screw it. <laughs> well, it gets really cartoonish, and the fact that the prop is up on the top of the right. the weight ratio means if you had too much power, it gets really hard to handle and stupid. You know. Yeah. Um, I wanted it to be a little more lifelike than that, and then. <sighs> so, does it install as an old plane, or does it uh, override the existing? No, you add, you add it on in the community folder. It takes over for your original icon, but it doesn't modify any of the icons files. So if you don't like it, you just uninstall it from the community folder and you don't have to worry about butchering the original plane. Nice. Oh. I'm downloading it now. So, and then grab the livery pack that he put with it too, because he's got this wonderful mahogany and uh, blonde interior on one of the planes that was, I don't know, 
It's a nice upgrade. Yeah, I'll always take an upgrade. Well, the thing of it is, you know, when you add more power, you stop firewalling the thing while you fly, and you find out that, you know, I'm okay with flying this thing at 140 knots. I don't have to peg it to 240. It's just, it just helps you get out of trouble when you need it. Helps you get out of the water when you need it. And I'm, we, we've been having so much fun just, just finding little tiny ponds and going, okay, that's not much bigger than a bathtub. Do you think you can make it? <laughs> yeah, land in there. Yeah, yeah. It is a, it's, it was a wonderful challenge. You just fly around, especially mountains. That was my, because whoever said the first thing they did was fly this plane, that, well, yeah, that was that me was too. Me. I wanted yeah. to fly around the mountains of Colorado and land in the lakes up there, and I couldn't even get up to them. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I was doing all the crater lakes out in the Aleutians uh, with it. And you think, yeah, I landed it. Oh, I've got no power to get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're stuck there. You're going to part it out on the water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and take it on a wheelbarrow into town to sell the parts just so you can get a plane ticket home. So, where are we off to now? I think we're about to start Kev strips now. If it's the last five, then yeah, these next ones will be all custom strips, I think. Oh, cool. I don't have any of those, so I'll be, I'm really bush flying then. <laughs> yeah. I think they're all in this sim just generic, but if yeah, upgraded, just then. upgrades. Yeah, so good. Th at least there's going to be a clearing in the trees for me. Yeah, to, uh... yeah. I'm rolling. Can, or can your A5 do this? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I built the handling off of a P36 World War II plane fighter plane. So there you go. Perfect. Like it's so, like I said, if Mike Patey can do it in real life, I can do it in the sim. That's that's what I'm saying. If it doesn't break physics. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of one of those things I had to really play with the roll rate a long time, thinking, well, what would happen if you really just took this to the limit? But with wings that wide, how fast could you really roll it? Right. If you did it right, and then. And then build it towards that so it's not a the other plane yeah. i'm working on is cartoonish that's the one that you can you can group fly with anybody it'll fly at 70 knots and it'll also fly at a thousand knots oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah this is why i don't build aircraft because the first thing i would do is make it do max six and, <laughs> and, and be able to land like a helicopter yeah right. yeah um it's yeah What's, what's that yeah, thing so, called? Enterprise? I mean, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it'll be fun for 10 minutes and then you just go, oh, this is boring. That's why, you, yeah. Um, same with a lot of these things. You think, oh, this is great fun. Actually, I'm going to rein it back a little bit. So it actually yeah. feels a bit realistic rather than yes. just being, you know, like a uh, jump ship. And, and you know what? You don't, you don't actually buy the sim and then start modding things with the intention of being disciplined. But at the end of the day, you have to go back to that. <laughs> right. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's see here. So I think this first extra isn't Kev's. I think someone else made it, but it is a upgraded scenery okay yeah i couldn't remember if it was four or five strips when i was down when i was looking at them i just i have them already i just checked right. the files to make sure i had them downloaded yeah. but i couldn't remember if it was four or five strips from kev i got so much in png i got probably more in png than i do like for everywhere yeah, yeah. So so there's four from kev and then this one from somebody Name, I don't is know. it hard to make airstrips? No, not not. Okay. I mean, I just one Sunday I was like, I wonder what it take to make an airport, and then I did it. It took me it took me a little bit longer than I thought it would, but it wasn't that hard. There's a 
really good guide on flightsim.to, like written guide on how to do it. And it's a bit, it's like four sim updates back, but it's still mostly relevant. There's a few new things, but it's not super hard. And Unless you're trying to do like an international airport and it keeps yeah, crashing. Yeah. Like, yeah. What, so like, like, there, like, I've got but, like fucking 20 miles worth of taxiways and it keeps crashing the sim. Yeah, oh, dirt strips are easy. Uh, regional airports are moderate. Take you. I mean, it's taken me about took me about a month to make a take make a regional, and international. I'm not gonna even try and deal with. Yeah, yeah. Until till the uh, SDK gets a little more. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. The latest update made it so that you can't put down taxiway points without the sim crashing. So, not really doing any taxiway points for now. Or you know. Taxi, anything. Taxi lines, taxi everything. Maybe yeah. maybe it's trying to tell you something. Taxiways are overrated. Right. I'm sure a good majority of the sim user base probably just spawns on the runway anyway. That's true. What is a runway by any other name? <laughs> well, a clearing in the trees, obviously. Right, yeah. I choose the Harrison Ford approach. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh god, he'll never live that down, will he? That poor guy. What was that what what interview we did? Because you know, thirty thousand perfect landings, and I make one mistake, and that's what people will remember me for. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember. Was it out in Burbank or something? I can't remember where he was. Where he's landing. John at. Wayne Airport. John Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. Out on the taxiway over a 737. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this around. asshole crossing the runway? <laughs> 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 the 737. Get out of the way. If only he was answered by Chewbacca. Right, <laughs> yeah. Uh, poor Harrison Ford. That's too funny. Using that video somebody posted about the uh, Olivia, the beaver. He was in that video describing how he how he got a beaver, and it was just like a big documentary on that beaver that they restored. Actually, here in Victoria too. I didn't know they restored it here, but yeah. yeah. After seeing it, I've definitely seen that plane. I don't know if they keep it here, but it looked familiar. Yeah, they've got such a wonderful view. I mean, that's a striking looking plane. Yeah, I can't wait to get one in the in the sim here. It'll be a uh, It'll be a daily driver, I think. Uh, it'll be underpowered. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I there's... Think they're coming I out think... with the totter. Yeah. Somebody's coming out with the turbo water. Oh. I don't know about a turbo beaver, though. Oh, if you don't have the Adam Cena, it looks like you faceplant in the side of that hill. Here we go. Better be careful here. Oh okay. yeah, I definitely saw that. <laughs> Got it. We're ready to climb on this hill. Oh my God! Look at this. We have a windsock. What luxury! Right. Yeah, you guys are about six, seven feet off the ground. The only way up. An airport like this is gonna have a windsock as if it's just a some random stick with somebody's underwear on it. Great, right, yeah. Someone's actual sock. <laughs> right. Oh man, this 310 sounds nice. Are you in the 310 here with us? No, no. Oh. I was gonna say you're brave, man. <laughs> I was thinking about bringing the 146, you know, and just do the whole approach with the uh, with the clamshells out, lift there spoilers out. There you go. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> that would be something, man. <laughs> I mean, it seems like they do it on regular length runways, anyways. So I mean, you know, 500 feet, sure. Yeah, I think it's pretty common for them to run with the with the even uh, in this time here. You, you kind of need it because even idle power, you're it's still yeah. pretty slow. Still got some momentum, yeah. Mm. Hold on, guys. Let me slide under you here, right quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, everybody's 
really got the levitation thing down. Mm -hmm. Or up, as the case may be. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Dad jokes to the rescue. Yeah, right. Next, are you coming in still, Waylon, or are you just you off and heading out? Uh, I I'm off again. I'm oh, okay. All right. I didn't watch you land, so I wasn't sure. Copy that. All right. Landing heading was out. the issue. Taking off was was the issue because for some reason my plane decided to go one. <laughs> this runway's actually got a bit of a, a little bit of a hump and then kind of a ramp at the end here, so. Well, no. She got off before the hump there. Kind of like a British aircraft here. Yeah, right. I think the next four are cabs. Copy. I noticed on the 310 too, when you use uh, prop de-ice and your de-ice boots in icing conditions, you can hear the ice breaking off. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Oh, man. It's nice attention to detail. Yeah, you hear like a clunk clunk. I haven't tried it yet, uh, but I only got it this yeah. morning, so... Fly into at icing. The moment, I'm still in yeah, I'm, at, at the moment, I'm doing this uh, Seven Continents tour. I'm in South Africa, so they <laughs> that's what I'm icing is very yeah. minimal. <laughs> I'm in a, I'm in Alaska on my seven continents, so I got I got icing here. I did, but today it looks kind of looks pretty nice. It's my outside temperature anyway. Just below zero. At four thousand feet. That's so either two nine or eight eight. Should be okay. Cabin is comfortable and steady. Perfect. Everybody's happy. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that there's like passenger comfort simulation in the in the in 310. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, <laughs> that would always be in the red. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said as well. And then I found myself spending 20 minutes trying to get the temperature just right. So it's kind of you're doing it anyway once you see it. Right. Yeah. When you're yeah. at cruise height, it should say someone has to go to the bathroom. Right. <laughs> yeah, we were, uh, there was a guy at, uh, on the Bush League that was flying it on uh, on Thursday's flight. And uh, he was, <laughs> we were having him uh, kill one of the engines and stuff like that and whatnot and do power on and power off stalls. <laughs> Uh, just to see how it reacted on the stream and then they pulled up the passenger comfort index and it was just like maybe like just a sliver like all the way at the one end in red <laughs> it's like no they are not happy <laughs> but it lands very differently from other flights because you have to go in relative yeah no you gotta they weren't they weren't lying in the stream when they said if you cut the power it drops like a friggin rock yeah. So you gotta keep decent, like I'm. 
taking I'm getting used to because I usually try to stall onto the onto the runway. It's probably not something that you wanted to do with that plane. No. No, you gotta come in. I've been coming in at like, I don't know, 100 knots. 100 and bringing it down to like 95, 93-ish, and that seems okay. But it's kind of like the citation. You gotta like drive it onto the runway. Yeah. I've never touched the citation, so... I think most private jets you kind of drive them onto the runway you're going fast as balls I've so noticed I, I usually fly the smaller the smaller slower flights so mm -hmm. yeah no it's very uh, it's a very nicely done plane for sure it handles completely different than the 414 obviously the 414 isn't finished and they haven't really button down the flight model side of things yet, but... The only twin that I have some experience with is the Seneca, and I think that's a different league. Was that Just Flight who did that? No, the Caronado thing. Oh, yeah. Am I reading this right? We have to come back on ourselves. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Throw it down into the valley and try and kill the airspeed then. Yeah. Turn. Kill the airspeed on the turn. Yeah, gotcha. And if any of your passengers haven't lost their lunch yet, you didn't do it right. Right. Oh, you can guarantee. He well, doesn't have any passengers. They're already dead. They're already dead. <laughs> They're already dead. <laughs> yeah. They died in Alaska. Yeah. Killed, the, killed themselves. So the guy we, doing uh, that again. Yeah, they, they all just jumped out, I think. Yeah, same here. I'll just look back, and the the doors are all flapping. There's nobody <laughs> in. Yeah. I said, "Screw this! I'll take my chance with the bears." Okay, I see it. Well, I have to agree with that kind of flight model myself because that's. I didn't come in here to fly politely. I came in here to do what I can't do in real life. Right, yeah, exactly. So are you a the pilot? Right place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are now among friends. So Mish, are you a pilot then? No, no, um, yeah, and I, uh, but I've been simming since um, computers were less, less than one megahertz in speed, so I knew early on that I would never have a pilot's license for longer than a day. I would lose it on day one. I'm always flying inverted underneath bridges and, you know. Well, welcome to the crew. That's what oh, we do. yeah. We never do anything like that. Man after I my own heart. <laughs> the worst that I've done when I was uh, getting my PPL and I was flying solo, I cut a 737 off on, like, short final by accident. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> there you go. Whoops. So you so you've read that book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. <laughs> Preston Ford Jr. Yeah. Yeah, air traffic was like, what are you doing? Turn north now. Okay. You got it. Will do. You get, a, get a 737 on like a freaking five mile final and it's traveling like a lot quicker than you, dude. <laughs> I didn't get um, told to copy down any number though, so we're good. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the uh, I have heard. That's the that's the threshold you don't want to cross. Can say to you. Oh, this runway where you gotta come over this hill and then drop yep. down again. Uh -huh. I remember this thing. All right. Yep. I remember this one. So yeah, I never never did never did pursue a private pilot's license, but I flew radio controlled airplanes and built them for you know twenty years or whatever. So, I like to do yeah. RSD. I've thought about doing RC flying. It looks pretty cool. I'm telling you, save your money and play yeah. this in VR, <laughs> and you're, you, it, it it solves all the problems. Because when you're flying radio control, the you can't oh, see the damn thing. Yeah, first off, it goes by so fast, and the but only thing, the only yeah. way that makes it any fun is you have to imagine yourself in the cockpit, and that's just frustrating because you can't actually do yeah. it, you know, and so. You can I would with uh, FPV drones. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but yeah. there's there's some real money there, and trust me, flying 
flight sim in VR is much cheaper. Yeah. Well, you'd slap an FPV camera on a plane. It's all the same thing, but again, yep. VR. VR. Right. Stand it's by your VR. argument. 737 coming out, you know, all right, you sold me. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. Yeah, I've, I've built three RC planes, and I have a total flight time of about 12 minutes. <laughs> that, that's I when feel... I realized it's way too expensive. Yeah, 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 I feel your pain. That's what put me off. <laughs> if you don't want to crash them, don't build them. Oh, man, there's so many hours in putting them together, and then you... Zip lovingly the finish them off and put all the electronics and you test and you dream and you go out and then, yeah, there's about four minutes of panic and then you crash it and then you go what was I doing yeah <laughs> and quite often the only thing you can recover is maybe a battery or you know a, a bit of, <laughs> a bit of electronics or something like, oh, Jesus well I will say yeah I I tended to um yeah, I always save the engine for some reason. That that always worked. Never save the prop, obviously, but uh, always save the engine. But yeah, the, the little cables are gone. All the servo uh, wires are stripped and pulled out. But the whole thing was, it's it's amazingly frustrating. Even though I have you know lots of hours in RC, it's still very frustrating because all you want to do is be in that cockpit you're just dreaming about getting that sensation of flying the plane and and doing something stupid with it certainly not politely flying but yeah so virtual reality is the culmination of all that finally yeah but the problem with flight sim is you don't get a load of cement all over you stuck to your fingers <laughs> right <laughs> Well, I suppose yeah, I could sit here and fiddle with a tube of cement, couldn't I? You you yeah. could. You could just leave a little uh, a little little super glue and uh, what did else do we we were always mixing uh, Oh, I forgot the little there's some little powder we'd mix in with the uh, super glue to give it strength and now I can't remember what, but uh, you could just baking leave soda. that baking soda. Oh. Yep, baking soda. You could yeah. just leave the cap off some some uh, super glue as you're uh, as you're flying and then that would give you half of it, but yeah, that's true. I don't know, I don't I don't miss RC at all. I just I just don't. Uh, I think I because I came from building just models and then I thought, oh it'd be nice if these flew and then Yep. And then that killed the whole thing for me. It's like <laughs> so frustrating because I actually enjoyed building them more than I did flying them. I was terrified to fly them. And that's probably yeah. why I didn't get much flight time in them, because I was just panicking. Yeah, panicking, and and then when the plane comes at you, all the half of the uh, half of the controls are reversed, and the other half aren't. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just it's just wrong. So. Yeah, I can't take, I can't make a license because I'm just colorblind. So they won't let me. Whoever that is is really quiet. What's yeah, it well, saying? I'm well, in your face. It's pretty quiet there. Yeah. Okay, because I thought we had fixed that. Because uh, I had that problem in the beginning, but then after a while, it, uh, it's normal. I can hear you. I got you cranked up full volume on that. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got you cranked, but you're still like. Say about four by five. Could be better, but it's not terrible. I can really hear you. Where in the hell? Strange. Okay. I gotta check that out. This one's kind of hidden. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Jesus Christ. For anybody that doesn't have these strips, I highly recommend downloading yeah. them and coming back for a revisit because Kev did a really nice job on these. Yeah. Yeah, they are Aww. good. I've got them all for a change. Oh, this is really steep. Cody doesn't like going up this. Make sure you carry, <laughs> make sure you carry all your speed up. Yeah, I'm not using thrust reverse on this guy. Yeah, I saw that post that uh, Simwork posted in terms of what's coming. Yeah. Interesting, I guess. Well, I mean, it's just... just. I didn't know they were doing a, the DH7. That's pretty sweet. 
yeah, I mean, it's not they're doing it for somebody else, I guess. It's not necessarily a SimWorks. Under SimWorks, they're just doing, like, the modeling and everything for somebody else. Uh, like, uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. EC-12 would be nice. The thing class. won't even hold steel with a parking brake on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got one foot on the brake. So the kind of a area you'd want to visit in real life. <laughs> what would the cafeteria serve at, a, at an airport like this? <laughs> Bush rat. Snakes. Yeah, snakes. Some <clears throat> dog coffee. if you're lucky. Coffee? Yeah, maybe some coffee. Maybe. <laughs> Zoom in to see what's going on here. Bunch of people watching you take off and land. Yeah. Get your dogs like off the three, runway. Three, three feet from the runway. <laughs> well, yeah, because that's what missionary bush pilot. He's always got to. These people are standing people. like right beside. They can touch the plane as it comes yeah. over. He's got to like fly over a couple times to make sure people clear dogs and kids off the runway and stuff like that. You know. Oh gee. Yeah. Yeah. Group B rally style. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Slap the fuselage as it comes by. You get bravery points if you can touch the plane. Yeah. Old Bill there lost his hand back in 86. <laughs> 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 and caught the prop. <laughs> we we still salute him, though, because that was brave. <laughs> yeah. Some of the same well, arc landing videos are pretty close. Well, they that's the... Uh... Some yeah, yeah, are, right. Hands up in those videos. Well, that's Bro. the thing about uh, Group B rally. I mean, back you know, when for the short time that that was alive, there were stories of cars coming into service with people's fingers and stuff that caught the edge of the car. You know. <sighs> yeah. But I touched it. But I touched it. Yeah. Yeah. Must have had yeah, dude. Well, they they like, still still touch it. Yeah. yeah. From now on, we're gonna call you Stubbs. But yeah, yeah, that was impressive. Yeah, right. It just always blew my it blows my mind watching those old Group B videos, man. The guys just full throttle going down the road, and literally people are just standing in the middle of the and just jumping out of the way at the last second. I'm just like, this is insane. Everything about it was bonkers, but it yeah. was great. Yeah, insane. Well, even the more. Uh... Well, the more sedate versions of racing were still awful scary. I mean, uh, one of the other fun things I do in VR is do, you know, the car racing sims. And uh, like 1966, 1967 Formula One yeah. was almost well, had hay. no brakes. Well, was, and, and the track had hay bales to protect the crowd. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Like, oh, that's enough. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to stop the burning wreckage of your car hurting anyone. <laughs> Marshall standing at the apex of corners and things like that. Sure. I, I got to spin Absolutely. back around here. Yeah, if you if you want a real, real crazy experience, play Dirt Rally 2 in VR. Oh, yeah. I've got that one as well. Yeah. Yep. Jesus Christ. I, I can't get anywhere close to... Uh, 100% level. It's just like... Oh, no, yeah, I, no, it's insane. I set it down to, like, 75%, and I'm still just freaking out. I'll do, like, one stage on that, and, like, I gotta set down controls, like, as my hands are shaking so bad. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. I think this has gone past game category, hasn't it? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah say, some, I mean, yeah, even the modern fast. cars are, are pretty That's freaking fast. fast. All right, I'm gonna fly ahead, get to a good drone spot. Copy that. Ooh, I like this airport. This is nice. 
trail. I don't even have the upgrade, but side of a hill, <laughs> you're uphill and pulling hard to the left. Yep. Wait. About 75% of the throttle here. Ooh, I'm going to need more than that. Yep, yep, yep. Wheels. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is not a runway, this is a ramp. Oh, dear. Oh, terrain failure. Bro. <laughs> Fell. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Damn, Hill just reached up and grabbed you. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> Oh, he's got some coffee bags here on the side of the runway. I forgot about that. Sure, that's coffee. Oh, well, you know. Jesus. Oh, come on, the Sobo fix this stupid showcase camera. Christ's sake. The drift? Yeah. Like, I went outside and it was upside down and right up yeah, against the side of the airframe. I'm like, what? Right. I was wondering if that was an everybody bug, but. Yeah, no, it, it's everybody. <laughs> Things going Just wrong here. <laughs> turn left. Yeah. <laughs> All right, heading out. Fuck it. Yeah, you really, you gotta basically be all the way into the throttle to get up this one, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna gun it from here. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, there's a drop off at the bottom. So, no trouble getting airborne, then. Nah. Excuse my language. It's like a bomb burst coming out here. Uh, no need to pull your flaps up. Round speed, 208 knots. <laughs> You're going to want to slow down a bit. Nah, that'd be fine. Okay. It'd be fine. <laughs> I can do the Fred Flintstone stop, can't I? All right. You can help. How long did you say this was? 975? 975. Jeez. supposed to point my wheels at the sky or the ground. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Do it sideways. Well, I got I got to go underneath you, Smitty. I'm going too fast. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, she's starting to stall inverted. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh. Smitty, yeah. Smitty did it like a champ. 
I'm not even using my brakes until now. Come on, 4X. You can set her down. Oh, that was a bit rough. I guess I better come around and butter this thing to save grace here, save face. The end, you're floating off the ground. How can that be? And I'm just holding it just at the stall point. <laughs> I am flying. Yeah, That's a pretty gnarly approach. We paid somebody to clear the runway. Yeah, why do I have bits of dog in my landing gear? There. What the heck? Oh boy, here we go. Oh man. Nice. Very nice. No, made it look easy. Woo. Yeah, do do a hard one next time, dragons. I mean, you don't even have the strip downloaded, so no. I don't even see what you're. I don't even know what you're looking at. I'm just seeing a few buildings, a couple on stilts, to the yep. left and to the right, and otherwise just a grass strip. They just land on the dirt part, and you're uh, you figure you're probably in the middle somewhere. And that is that. Everybody down? Everybody's down, it looks like. Good. Well, some of you are down and some of you are up. <laughs> 20 feet up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, I'm in a hurry to get out. 4X, I have to plant next year's uh, coffee beans. Thanks for a great fight. All right. All right. Yeah, George, yeah. Man, catch you later. Take it easy. See you. Ivan, that was a great flight plan, man. Yeah, that was yep. nice Agreed. work. That was good. Good work right on that one. All right, guys. Y'all take care. See you next week. Right, yeah. 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 See you guys. Oh, All right. Catch you, yeah, you guys later. Week. Cheers, Dragons. That was awesome. Thank great you. Great flight, folks. Enjoyed it. Yeah, keep My that shit up. My granddaughter is getting married next week, so I won't make it. Right oh, now. all right. What? Sounds like some kind of lame ass excuse to me. Yeah. 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 Choose your priorities well, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. Take, Take care. care. Take Congrats care. for the happy couple. For right, guys, got you later. All right. See y'all. Bye. See you. Bye bye. Yeah, Lumi. Some people have this add-on scenery, uh, and some people don't. Just adds, you know, the wind socks, the buildings, and you know, correct elevation data. Because this is a uh, oh, this is a great airstrip. 975 feet long. Bit of a challenge. Looks nice. The approach is awesome. You come in through the valley, but yeah. That's it. That's the end of the stream. Thanks for joining. I think I might stream a bit later. Possibly. See you, Thieves. But we'll see.